G'day guys, MAT5 here and today I'll be reviewing The Swapper, a side-scrolling sci-fi puzzle platformer that was developed by Facepalm Games and then ported by Curve Studios that I reviewed on the PlayStation 4. As the game begins, your nameless astronaut is distressed and trapped in a space pod that is then sent off to a nearby planet. Who you are and why you're here is a mystery. Eventually you stumble across The Swapper, a unique cloning device that can clone up to four versions of yourself. You can only control one clone at a time, but can switch between them using the swapper, but no matter which one you are, everything you do is replicated by the other clones. If you jump, so do they. This is a puzzle platforming game that utilises this idea to create complex, mind-bending puzzles that require precision and an open mind in order to solve. The environment is beautifully haunting with superb lighting effects that make you feel like you're playing a horror game such as Dead Space or something, and this is further complemented by an atmospheric, electric and piano soundtrack to create a mysterious but amazing world for you to explore. The game is about 5 hours long in which you will be exploring, discovering and solving a number of puzzles to collect orbs, which are essential for continuing the game. These puzzles at first seem like a walk in the park, adapting your mind around the thought of controlling up to 4 clones of yourself at once, but as you continue through the game they get considerably more challenging and start to utilise more problems for you to get around. There are different coloured light sources that limit certain abilities, teleport devices, and by the end you can even walk on the ceiling. As you can imagine, these puzzles can leave you feeling confused and overwhelmed, and there will be times where you get stuck for a long, long time, building up frustration as more time passes, which by then you will be too blinded by this to even get close to solving the puzzle. I feel this game is better off in bursts, because thinking with a clear and open mind often leads to the solution. Unfortunately though, some of these puzzles require so much precision that you may think a solution won't work, only to discover that in fact it was the right solution, you just weren't precise enough. The other problem I have with the game is that the plot is confusing and overwhelming. Most of the story is told through logs and certain cutscenes, but by the ending I was just left ultimately unsatisfied with the plot. And of course, if I wanted to nitpick, I would say that most of the space backgrounds look blurry and in low resolution, which feels off compared to the beauty of the rest of the game's environments. Overall, the Swapper is an interesting puzzle game that gives us a dark and beautiful sci-fi setting filled with mystery and a lot of difficult puzzles to solve involving cloning. I think The Swapper deserves a spot next to other fantastic puzzle games such as the Portal series, but I felt that the plot and overall frustrations with the puzzles just bring it that far back for me. So in the end, I give The Swapper a 7.5 out of 10. The setting is hauntingly beautiful as well as the soundtrack and there are enough puzzles and problems for Evolved around the cloning mechanic to confuse even the most intelligent of players, but if you manage to solve just one, you will feel like an Einstein. But when you do get stuck on a puzzle, it can be an infuriating moment that will make you feel like the puzzle is unsolvable. That and I found the plot to be confusing and by the end unsatisfying. If you want to explore a dark gritty sci-fi world filled with crazy difficult puzzles revolving around multiple clones, then the Swapper is the game for you. For the rest of you, be wary that you may blow a fuse playing this game. I know I did. Thanks so much for watching my video and for the latest AAA and indie reviews or impressions, I hope to see you subscribe and come back to MAT5 Reviews.